Well, first of all, I want to thank Cookie because we had to mutually agree that to go public. And uh, her and I had long discussion, talked for days to try to decide what we were going to do together. She had reservations in the beginning, and she should have uh, about how the public was going to react, was it going to be some backlash. But after we talked it over, we both decided it was the right thing to do. We wanted to save lives and educate people. When I stepped up to the mic, it was the toughest thing because of the fact that, uh, you know, I was going to walk away from my family. And when you, when you think about uh, walking away from, you know, guys that I've been to war with, um, that's the only thing I knew then, you know, was those, those guys. And I was in the prime of my career, and it was a tough, tough decision. And, um, but I wanted to live for a long time. And Cookie and I thought about it, talked about it, and said, hey, the best decision to make is to retire, and then also share it with the world. So I'm glad I did it. And uh, I haven't looked back since. Yeah. You know, Magic, there are a lot of people who look and admire you greatly. And how surprised are you, or are you surprised? Because we were very naive 20 years ago about the virus. How surprised are you that you've gotten the support worldwide, not only just locally, but worldwide, and you are the face of this, of, of trying to cure this disease now? Well, I think that, you know, you um, first, you didn't think about your announcement would travel worldwide and you, uh, it would be this big. I never thought about that. Um, it shows you what the Lakers, what they stand for, what the Lakers are about. And then um, I'm happy though that uh, it did because it allowed me to go speak around the world about it. I've been all over Europe. I've been everywhere talking about HIV and AIDS. Then I went on a tour, a basketball tour to play. And so um, educating people about HIV was really important to me. And I got a chance to travel around the world to educate people about it. And uh, even today, I still get letters all around the world. And even on my website and when uh, people on Twitter, I get more hits around the world than I do actually in America almost, so it's amazing. So I never thought it would come to this, but uh, I'm happy that it's come to this. Yeah, Joe. Urban, uh, how, uh, how close did you ever come to not going public with this? I mean, there had to be a time when you decided, okay, I'm going to do this. But was there ever a time when it was like 50-50 that maybe you just retire and walk off into the sunset? Well, I think in the beginning it was 50-50, yes, of course. But then I talked to Elizabeth Glazier, who was dying at that time of AIDS. And Lon, who was that time, at that time my agent, set me up with her because I needed to talk to somebody who was going through the same thing I was going through to help me uh, understand what I would be in store for. And so she sat me down and really explained it to me and uh, really made me feel good mentally because uh, it was going to be a tough ride mentally if I hadn't talked to her. So uh, she eased my mind and she was the one who helped me both decide to go public as well as uh, she really helped Cookie as well. So. Uh, she helped both of us, and, uh, and then soon after that she passed away, but uh, I thank, thank her a lot for what she, she did for me. And then she told me, like Dr. Ho told me, that I would be here a long time. And the only thing she asked me to do before she died was to become the face of the disease. And so I told her that I would, and, and I have. Oh. Do you still struggle with the virus today? Are you out of the woods? What's your treatment like uh, you know, 20 years later? Uh, I never struggled from day one. I think the only struggle I had in the beginning, Dr. Ho, was when I had to take all the medicine in the beginning uh, because we had to find a balance, what would work for me. But uh, 
there's never been a real struggle in my life in, in terms of uh, the virus. The only struggle I had, the biggest struggle I had was in the beginning trying to adjust to now you have to take your meds three times a day. And uh, the medicine at that time was harder to take than it is today. And so a lot has changed, it's easier to take. But other than that, you know, uh, I stayed positive. You know, I'm still, I was still uh, urban. Um, what I missed the most was the hardest day I had when I came to watch the Lakers play it and I wasn't running out the tunnel with them. That first day was hard. And um, it took me a while to adjust to that as well. And then I just decided, you know what, Urban, this is a good time to get into your second life. You've always wanted to be a, a businessman, so it's time to start doing that. And uh, that's what I decided to do. But I, I would tell you that when you go to war with a family, with Coop and, and uh, James and AC and Kurt and Mitch, and the hardest adjustment is that you're not one of the boys anymore. You're not a part of the family anymore. And I think that's the thing that weighed heavy on me in the beginning.